folks, this is Nathan Shepker here from Top Fly Guide Service. Just here to show you the blue wing all of Pertagon. I use this fly in my Euro style nymphing, but it can also be used uh, as a dropper or indicator fishing. This fly can be used year round. I catch fish on it 365 days a year, and it can be used in any mayfly type pattern. So let's get to it. Just showing you the final product of the blue wing all of Pertagon. This is mostly a mayfly pattern I tie. Just made a couple minor adjustments too. Um, we can tie in different sizes and colors to match different mayfly hatches throughout the year on the Yakima and uh, other great rivers in the U.S. So thanks for watching. First thing we're going to do here is start off with a nice thread base going along the shank of the hook. I'm just going to end just like every other fly here or about the bend. I'm going to take some pheasant tail I like to use three strands, but it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I don't think the fish care, so um, you know, two to five strands is fine. But just kind of eyeball it myself, but you, if you really want to measure it, you can take it about the length of the shank here. Then we're going to tie that in right to the top of the hook. Let's do a couple loose wraps here. I'm going to pull tight, pinch and pull tight, go all the way back down curve here. Cut off our excess. We're going to add our blue wing olive colored biot. Just cut it off of a turkey biot like this. And this is kind of an important part here so you can see there there's a near biots there's a raised portion. If you're tying on a rotary vise and you're going to spin it to wrap the quill, you want to tie this raised part going up. If we're just going to wrap it, I want to tie that going down. That's going to give us a nice uh, segmented body to our fly. So I want to tie mine going up here. And if you accidentally tie it the wrong way, it, it, the fly still looks good. I've tied them both ways and the fish don't really care, but it's kind of catches the, the angler's eye, right? Not the, not the fish sometimes. So since I'm already up here, I'm going to just put a little thread down behind the speed, keep it in place here. So about 15, 18 wraps, whatever keeps it from moving on you. There we go. I'm going to grab my hackle pliers here. You want to, Make sure we start it off by covering our thread wraps down there. And you can probably start seeing those like segmentation. Get my thread out of the way here. It's starting to form on the fly there. If we tie it in the wrong way, you'll not you won't see that those layers there. So I'm gonna pinch right here. I'm gonna tie that off about three loose wraps. Pull tight. One more just for fun. Trim our tag end. I'm going to take peacock curl. I use two strands just to build that thorax a little bit quicker. Get you, if you're tying, you know, two dozen of these, you want to get through them as quick as possible. So if you use a new peacock curl, make sure you're breaking off the tips here because that the tips of the peacock curl are very fragile. This is this is sturdy down here, but if you're tying it at the tip, you'll start wrapping and start breaking off. So make sure it's nice and strong. So this right here, the thorax, this is kind of what makes it a little bit different than the Pertagones you might see um, on Facebook or uh, in, in shops. So most of them, they just run the, either a, th a thread or a bite quill to the front of the fly and then taper it off with UV glue. I use the peacock curl and the flashback as a wing casing and just to build the thorax up a little bit. I don't know if it matters much, but that's just what I've been successful with. So I'm going to tie everything back about a quarter of the way to the fly. That's going to keep our uh, thorax. It's going to be uh, from where the thread stops forward is where our thorax is going to be. So I'm going to get my flash out of the way here. This is just a lateral flash gut. Anything you use to tie streamers on, you can get it on a spool or um, 
as a bundle, so you can even put it back here in your keep it out of the way. It doesn't want to stay there, so so I'm just gonna wrap my peacock curl. Tie it in. Trim that off. We're going to pull this over. Make sure you don't pull too tight. You can bring it down at the side or pull your thread. When we tie this in, we really want to be careful about doing a loose thread wrap here. If I do a tight thread wrap, it's going to pull that flash down at the side. So I do a loose one, pull it tight. It's going to keep that right on top there. And I can do a couple more thread wraps. Pull tight. And I don't use the scissors here because it can't really get too close to um, the bead. The bead's in the way. So I use a razor blade, put it right up against. Make sure you don't cut your thread doing this. Just slide it right along until that, that scale breaks, that lateral scale breaks. And then, just about down here, so we're going to whip finish. Do two just for a little added durability. Trim our thread. So we're just about done here. Uh, if you've worked with Buy It before, you might know that's pretty fragile. Uh, so if you catch one or two fish on this fly, it is probably that by it the body's going to break. So what we're going to do is add a little bit of bone dry UV glue. This stuff is like ultra thin. Uh, it doesn't add much bulk to the fly, but it adds a lot of durability. I can catch a you know a dozen or fifteen fish on this fly before that um, that glue breaks down. That by it breaks. So um, it's really good to, even to add to your um, whip finishes on any or even dry flies. Like I said, it doesn't add much weight, so it's really good for that. So that's really good stuff. So I really want to make sure I don't get any on the pheasant tail back here on the tail, uh, whatever you're using if you're using Coq de Leon, um, because what happens is after catching a fish on that, that glue will actually break the tail off. So make sure you don't get it on the tail. I'm going to hit it with my UV light here. And there you have it, blue and olive vertigon. You can tie this fly in a couple different sizes and colors to match the hatch. You know, I tie it in a size 14 to match in brown to match the March Brown hatch. You can tie it in 18, 20. Um, you can just tie it in a size, uh, even a size 12 um, in green for the green drake hatch. So happy tying and uh, tight lines, everybody.